The heroine's ordinary life changes when she and her mother move in with her stepfather. At 17, the girl wants to have fun and enjoy life. In this, she is helped by her half-brother. After a while, the heroes deepen their relationship. Between them arises a passion that is difficult to control. It's Mr. Narrator and a new retelling. In this retelling, you will see how close the relationship between brother and sister can be. Enjoy the movie, the heroine of this film. 17-year-old Noah girl moves to another city and carefully packs her things in her suitcase. There, she also puts a picture of her father. She, like her father, is fond of racing. The new city welcomes the heroine with stunning views of the sea and nature. Gradually, she gets used to the rhythm of the place. Noah silently rides in the car with her mother Emma and reads a book. The woman wants to discuss business with her daughter, however, Noah ignores Emma. Her mother wants the girl to understand her. Emma has met a man and wants a fresh start with him. Noah is a minor so she will have to get used to life in a new house. However, the heroine is sad to leave her hometown and her friends. When the heroines arrive at their new home, Noah realizes that her stepfather is rich. The women are met by the servants and Emma's husband Will. The girl shows her attitude to the move by unloading the trunk of the car. Martin the butler and Noah argue. After introductions everyone goes inside the house. The heroine sees that the inside of the mansion is much more luxurious than the outside. However, the only thing that matters to her is the presence of a library. Emma shows the girl her new room. Next door is the bedroom of Nicholas, Will's son. The girl tries to settle in. She takes pictures of her friend's new home. Noah sees Nicholas on the terrace. Her friend calls her. The guy pays attention to the heroine. The girl shares with her friend impressions about the mansion. Despite all the conveniences of the new housing, the heroine misses her old life. In search of some food, Noah goes into the kitchen. There she meets Nicholas again. The guy is handsome. Noah noted it even at the first meeting. The heroine did not drop the call. A friend witnesses the acquaintance of the couple. Nicholas wonders what his half-sister's name is. Suddenly, a huge dog appears. The heroine is frightened. At that moment, she was picking up her phone. She defends herself against the dog. The guy advises her not to react so violently. Noah's abrupt movements can cause aggression in the animal. The couple feels that there will be something more than brotherly feelings between them. Back to her room, the heroine notices that her conversation with her friend continues. The girl on the other side has been closely watching what is going on with Noah. The heroine tells her friend that she likes Nicholas. After a while, the family is going to celebrate the women's move. Noah carefully prepares for the dinner. She chooses a dress that suits her personality. Nicholas approves of the daring style in his sister's clothes. The heroine misses her boyfriend Dan. She texts him asking him to call her back. However, the guy is busy. Nicholas goes to dinner in his car. Through the window he throws a cigarette. The girl realizes that her half-brother is actually a bad guy. At a restaurant, the family takes their table. The girl watches the conversation between Emma and Will. One of the waitresses is flirting with Nick. The girl clearly wants to get to know the guy better. Noah realizes that Will and her mother do not know about Nicholas's bad habit. The girl wants to keep her brother's secret. Nicholas is working together with a friend. He is going to take care of work issues. The heroine also wants to leave their restaurant. Will asks Nicholas to take the girl to the mansion. However, in the car, the couple quarrels. The guy drops the stubborn girl off on the side of the road. Noah thought she could call a cab, but her phone is dead. The girl tries to hitchhike home. A car passes her. Noah is upset and curses the driver. Suddenly, the car slowed down and pulled right up to her. Sitting behind the wheel was Mario, a good-looking guy and friend of Nicholas. The new acquaintance is on his way to a party. Noah complains to Mario about Nicholas's behavior. She tells him that their parents got married, and now they all live at Will's house. Mario tells the girl about the party his friend, Ronnie, organized. He's recently released from prison and Mario thinks the guy is dangerous. Noah realizes that the stepfather knows absolutely nothing about his son's leisure time. Nicholas is acting like a womanizer. Noah resents it. She wants to give Nicholas a good beating for leaving her alone on the highway. At this point the guy realizes that his sister a hottie. He tries to calm the girl down. Nick notices that the heroine's ear has a tattoo. The guy asks the girl to stay out of his business and not to tell Will and Emma about the party. Noah meets his brother's girlfriend, Yana. The girls are going to have fun. Nikolos's best friend shows his car. 
Noah gets pictures of her boyfriend and best friend on her phone. The couple has fun alone together. Noah wants revenge. The girl decides to kiss another guy. Gina suggests doing it with the hottest guy at the party. Lion approaches the girls. He kisses Gina and gets to know the heroine. Nick is having fun with the new girl. Noah attracts the attention of Ronnie. Nicholas is his rival. The guy knows about the fact that the girl is Nick's half-sister. He wants to get to know her better. Ronnie's friend tries to get the heroine drunk. This is noticed by Nicholas. The guy stands up for Noah. Having told about the fact that she was slipped something in the drink, Nicholas wants to take his sister home. Noah, however, wants to have fun. In the car, she begins to act strangely. At home, Nicholas puts the girl to bed. The heroine has nightmares. In childhood, she was very afraid of her father. In the morning, the guys discuss the events of the previous evening. Nicholas thinks the girl is funny, he talks about how he put her to bed. To their parents, the boys don't say anything about last night. Nicholas tells everyone that Noah watched a late movie at a new friend's house. Emma and Will are happy that the girl is adjusting well in her new place. They thank Nicholas for helping Noah. The heroine sees that she sent a message where she confesses her sympathy for her half-brother. This angers the girl. The heroine is vacationing on the beach. She gets a call from an unknown number. Noah watches Nicholas having fun with his friends. The heroine realizes that she is falling in love with her brother. She furtively watches as he puts on a surfing suit. The guy's athletic figure attracts the attention of the girls on the beach. Jaina noticed her friend looking at her brother. On the beach, girls come up to Nicholas and ask him how to get into the race. But the guy pretends he doesn't know what they're talking about. After a while, there's a race. Noah does everything possible to get on it. The girl loves speed in cars. The crowd is having fun. The racers enter the track. In the crowd, the boy spots Noah. She came here with Jenna. The race begins. But when he catches up with his rival, Noah notices. Nicholas notices that Noah is approached by Mario. The girl is happy to see him. Due to the fact that the hero is distracted, he lags behind the rival's car. However, Nicholas does not intend to lose. He picks up speed and comes to the finish line first. Ronnie is angry about Nick's win and wants revenge on the guy. Noah receives a message with pictures. Gina tells her friend to relax. The girls dance. Nicholas and his friend are watching them. The heroine is sent new photos. She is angry and tries to drown out her disappointment by kissing a stranger. Nick is watching his sister. When the couple steps aside, the hero chases the guy away. He sees the photo the girl received. The guy offers to take the picture with him. He kisses Noah hotly on the hood of the car. She gets into Nick's car to go back to the mansion with him. The girl sends a picture with her brother to her ex. She wants to end the relationship via text. The heroine sees her brother having fun with his girlfriend. This angers Noah. The girl gets behind the wheel of her brother's sports car. She knows how to drive and is going for a ride. Ronnie pulls up to his rival's car. He sees Noah behind the wheel. He offers the girl to race him. Nick realizes that his car has pulled up to the starting line and doesn't have time to catch up with her. Noah doesn't want to compete with Ronnie, but the guy claims that in that case his victory will be automatic. Nick's friends are surprised to see the guy in the crowd. They don't know who is driving his car. The heroine refreshed her makeup and wished her rival good luck. If at the beginning of the race Noah was lagging behind after a little time, her car equaled Ronnie's. He's getting nervous. The crowd is watching with interest. Ronnie is angry. On the hardest corner, Noah overtakes his rival and takes the lead. Ronnie rams the car, but Noah still finishes first. Nick is not happy with his sister's behavior. Despite coming in second, Ronnie looks pleased. Noah has broken the rules. Nicholas gives his opponent the keys to his car. Ronnie continues to provoke the guy and gets punched in the nose. A fight breaks out. Gina takes the friends away in her car. After a while, everyone is getting ready for the party. Emma and Gina wake up the heroine to pick out her outfit. Nicholas has not been home for several days. All this time the guy spent on the beach. Emma is worried about the upcoming holiday. Will comforts her. Noah watches them from behind the door. She realizes that her mother and Will have real feelings. Nick has a younger sister, Maggie. They spend time at the beach. The girl is upset that her brother will not be able to spend the whole day with her. In the evening, the family returns home. Nick enters the house later than everyone else. He sees Noah lying on the couch with the dog. The girl is wearing a seductive dress. Nicholas wants to help his sister undress. They kiss. 
the girl's mother enters the room. In the morning, the heroine washes her car outside her house. Nicholas approaches her. Noah won't let her brother near her and flirts with him, completely soaking her dress. Emma approaches the guys. She brings Dan to her daughter's house. The ex has come to visit the heroine. Dan wants to kiss Noah, but the girl evades. Dan arrives to talk. Nicholas is watching what is happening. When Nicholas is going to swim in the pool, Noah approaches him. The girl is afraid that Dan will recognize Nicholas because she sent the guy their joint photo. When Dan approaches the heroine, she pushes her brother into the pool. The ex wants to convince the girl that he was wrong and still loves Noah. He gets doused with water to cool Dan down. Then the girl leaves. The brother drags Noah into the water. He pulls the heroine into the water. The couple secludes themselves behind inflatable figures. They kiss hotly. Nick studies his sister's figure. Dan notices them. The guy realizes that the stranger from the photo is Nicholas. Noah is approached by his mother. A secret admirer sent the girl flowers. Noah is sure that it is Dan, but the guy denies everything. Outside the restaurant, Nicholas is approached by Ronnie in a red sports car. At home, the hero sees Dan coming out of Noah's sleeping bag. The guy is surprised. He finds his sister on the terrace the girl fell asleep on the chaise lounge. When Nick wants to touch her, Noah gives him a punch in the nose. The heroine tries to make amends. She undresses the guy to treat the wounds and helps him relax. Suddenly Dan interrupts them. Will notices the abrasions on his son's face in the morning. The butler covers for the boy. He says that Nicholas hurt himself when he helped clean up near the pool. The heroine receives a threatening letter. She decides not to tell anyone about it. Nick and Noah pick up their friends. The guy's friend, Anna, talks about how they started racing. She is curious about who taught the heroine to drive a car. The friends arrive at the meeting place. Noah gives Nicholas a toy model of a sports car, which the guy lost through her fault. The guy laughs. He likes to get to know the heroine better. The couple starts kissing. They savor every moment and experience special sensations, penetrating the deepest depths of consciousness to reach. Suddenly, Gina arrives in the parking lot. She has pumped up her car for the race. Three friends came to the fight without rules. Nick is going to be in the fight. Noah doesn't like it. She tries to talk her brother out of the stupid idea, but to no avail. Nick deftly dodges the blows of the opponent. The heroine cannot watch Nicholas fighting in the ring. The guy sees that his sister has left. He hurries to finish the fight. Nicholas sees Mario kissing Noah. Pulling his friend away from his sister, he is angry at her behavior. She confesses that she is afraid of her brother and it would be better for them to part. After a while, Noah gets a job at a restaurant. Nicholas has a run to the coast and a lot of work things to do. The girl wants to add some fun to her everyday life. The butler helps the heroine decorate her car with stickers. Will and Nicholas smile as they watch the heroine drive her car. In the morning, Noah is working at the cafe and receives a new threatening note. She puts it in the box with the others. Will worries that Noah's father might hurt her again. He tells Nicholas about the girl's childhood. It turns out that her father got out of prison a few weeks ago. The heroine doesn't know about it. Will asks to keep the information secret. In the next scene, the girl's father, Anos, watches her from the car. Gina and Noah return from a party. The heroine is not feeling well. Nick finds a friend but they don't realize they are being followed. His sister searches for her jacket and returns to the club. His girlfriend jokingly pushes Noah into the clothes closet. The girl is startled. Nicholas frees her from there. At home, the guy takes his sister to bed. Noah asks him to spend the night with her. The guys relieve the stress. Will enters the room. He sees his son and Noah in bed. The man informs him that Maggie has been admitted to the hospital. In the morning, Nicholas and Noah go to see Maggie. His sister looks healthy. The doctor reports that the little girl is fine. On the way back, Nick stops the car. He and Noah want to continue what they started in the bedroom. The guys relax on the coast, realizing their desires that they have wanted to fulfill since they first met. They meet the sunrise together and get reacquainted. The couple wants to escape from everyone to a secluded place. The guys drive to a gas station to replenish the fuel supply. Nick leaves the girl in the car, promising to return quickly. Meanwhile, Ronnie kidnaps the heroine. Not finding Noah in the parking lot, he watches the surveillance footage. The boy's family goes to the police for help. Will promises Emma that they will find her daughter. Noah regains consciousness in some garage. 
She wants a drink of water and reaches for a glass that's on the table. Someone helps her by moving the glass closer. In the room with the girl is her father, Ano. Noah is terribly afraid of the man. Anos talks about sending notes to his daughter. The man calls his ex-wife. He wants a million dollars from her new husband. Police officers try to determine where the man is calling from. Ronnie distracts the man from talking. Anos punches the guy. Emma and her husband arrive at the place Anos was talking about. A man watches them through video cameras. Noah's mother fears for her daughter. The detective and Nicholas sit in the car. The woman asks if it's true that the guy's sports car is now at Ronnie's place. Turns out the car's location can be tracked. Anos realizes that his plan has failed. Noah and his father drive Nick's sports car out of the garage. The detective follows them. Anos tries to divert their attention. He shoots in Emma's direction. Will manages to cover them with a suitcase full of money. Noah's father tells his daughter about how he ended up in prison. He could have been a world champion. Now the man wants revenge on everyone involved in his failure. Anos's car came to a dead stop at the pier. There's nowhere else to go. Anos realizes it's the end and threatens his daughter. The detective and Anos' car end up facing each other. Noah comes up with a new plan and Nicholas realizes what she wants to do, turning around moments before the collision. The detective eliminates the threat. At the same time, Ronnie is arrested. Emma sees the body of her ex. She is relieved to have been able to save her daughter. Nick and Noah spend the night together. The guys realize that they're feeling that was the film my fault. Write in the comments, in your opinion is there a chance for the relationship of our heroes? Would you go against all odds to give your relationship a chance? See you in the next retellings.